Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do over here is we're going to uh, adjust our filter box from current position with control plus five. As you see, we can adjust the view into the right place where we want it to. Basically seeing only what we need to see in this point. And what we're also going to do is we're going to add the object identification labels. This is done with Alt Shift L. There we go. Switching back to our diagram, what we're going to do here in a little bit is we're going to compare it to our 3D model. Now, once we compare it, everything that is white is already in our 3D model. What, what we're going to do in a little bit while placing the equipment is because the 3D model is hooked up the diagram and already knows which position ID we want to use. There we go. We already see which one we're going to use. Now the only thing we have to do is we have to put it in the right position in the 3D model. Now this, depending on the situation, can be a challenge a little bit. So what we're doing here is we're going to line it up with the pump that is already in the 3D model. like so and then making sure that it's in the middle of this uh, bottom plate there we go and now we have it and it has the correct position ID jumping back to diagram here we're going to do a compare with 3d and as you see everything that is white is already placed in the 3D model. We're going to edit the data here. Now for this equipment when we uh, look at the connections we have an in and an out connection and we also see is that for both connections the nominal size is the same. Once we connect to these flanges, the system will automatically see from diagram which lines it sh should use and a candy bar appears, which are these red and white lines, which also shows you from where to where you should route this pipeline. And in this case, we're using uh, the environment as a guideline and then we navigate and build the pipe till it's connected like so for the next pipeline we're also going to do the same thing so we're going to connect to the equipment and as you see the candy bar suggests to which equipment we should connect which is in this case the pink one we're going to add a reducer first and then continue upwards and continue building till we're connected to the pink equipment and there we go now for this pipe as well we're going to connect to the other equipment. Now it also depends on what your scenario is usually in uh, when you're doing pipe building. Uh, you can get yourself into some uh, challenging situations sometimes. So depending on your knowledge of the commands, you can use the different parts in your environment to guide you as you see is done here as well. Almost there, last part. OK, 
connecting them to and there we go I'm gonna jump back here to diagram now once we do a compare with 3d model you can see what is what is already placed in the 3d model now in this case what we're going to do is we're going to add some valves to these two lines which we see in front of us once we place a valve into the line because the system is connected to diagram as you see here you can choose which valve you can grab and it already hooks up the position ID from diagram to the valve on the 3D model. You can also choose the angle of the valve and then you have it in there. In this case we're also going to slide it to put it in a little better position. And we're also going to add the valve here on top Grab the right position ID, grab the right valve, also choosing the right angle, and there we go. The only thing we still need to do is slide it and then put it in the right position. Beautiful. Jumping back to diagram, if we compare here to the 3D model, you see is that both valves are placed. And if we compare, you see is that these two valves, you can see in there, is that they're also placed in the 3D model. editing this information all seems good this is the end of this video if you still have any questions feel free to contact our sales department and thanks for watching